Jonathan Reeves here from Innovative Vector at SPIM. Today we're going to be looking at another Twinmotion 2020 sneak preview. We're going to break down the presentation that Twinmotion released yesterday and there's some really exciting things coming. So first off we're going to look at the new vegetation. Um, Twinmotion announced a collaboration with Quixel and you can see that the new vegetation has sort of real photo scan level kind of plants. It has a great library of trees and plants and bushes and I think you know you'll find that the new trees in particular there's a couple of nice new features here so what we're finding is when you click onto the tree you can see that you can actually select the age of the tree and this is really nice so you can go from sort of sapling to fully mature tree and it isn't just the scale but it's the actual geometry and the type of the model that changes so this is a really really cool new feature and potentially we could sort of you know show the model animated and growing uh, over the period of time Another nice new feature is you can see that we're able to select multiple objects and actually kind of drag them in to the object as we want to. So if we select multiple objects with shift, we're going to get a preview that actually shows all of those different types of trees. So this is kind of like a multi-drop type uh, arrangement. Now multi-drop isn't new itself, but that kind of does make life a bit easier. Excellent. So the fourth big new feature is the vegetation spread tool. So what we can do with this is drag some items down into the docks and various trees we would like, uh, click onto the uh, vegetation spread tool, and when we click onto our terrain, you can see it just really speeds up the process of scattering uh, trees and vegetation over a very, very large area. Now, <clears throat> I don't know about you, but this kind of really um, would speed up a lot of the work when I'm working on big sites and landscapes, as well as trees. We can drag in the bushes and things like rocks too, and we can just select a bunch of those in one go, click onto the vegetation multi-drop tool, and when we click, that will have painted it right over the whole terrain at the same level of quality wherever we look. So as you can see, if we zoom out a bit here, we're able to kind of zoom back into the model and just check it out. So very, very nice new feature. Um, and did you notice the detail on some of those sort of spruce trees and so on as well? Okay, so um, this is an example of how you can do the same thing for things like grass. So when you kind of select the grass, you can drag that down into the dock. And but basically, when you click onto the material surface, that will basically paint over the grass. And this, the more you click, the more you get. And I would say that that's a lot more accurate than maybe using the brush tool, uh, which is always a bit tricky to get those edges looking good and get the density right with the brush. So very, very welcome new features there. OK, so let's sort of check out the next new features. Um, we've got some nice new sliders for the weather. Now this isn't really new, we've been able to do this in Twinmotion for a little while, um, but the weather sliders are new in that they're a bit more compact and shown together. Um, kind of for me, the rendering does look uh, a little bit more realistic, uh, particularly on this, uh, this preview video that we're watching now. Uh, what do you guys think? I, I think it looks beautiful, the rain and the sort of shine on the road there. Um, just like before, we can change the season. Again, when we kind of slide the weather down it will start to snow and that's super fun and good fun to have a little play with and see the project in the in the winter time but the really nice new feature here is to do with the growth so we've got this new growth slider that basically can grow all of the trees in the model um, so as you slide that you can kind of go from a kind of semi mature at the beginning of the project through to a nice mature landscape so you know I know my landscape design clients will absolutely love that um, to actually sort of see the project in its context at different sort of times, you know, different years ahead. So, although, you know, we've been able to sort of change the sky and weather things for a while, um, Twinmotion 2020 has reworked the physical sky. So I don't know about you, but I, I think the rendering quality looks a lot nicer, and things like the colours and the images, um, as you change the time and the dates and the location, you kind of get a really nice impression. So here we're just looking at um, another kind of feature to do with the vegetation painting. And you can see we're going to select some rocks and basically um, spray those along the edge of this kind of waterfront. Again, nothing new here, although you kind of just feel very responsive and quite dynamic. The new feature is that you can actually post select those and actually click density. And you can kind of slide that up or down after the event. Now that really does make a big difference. So if you get it wrong, you can change that density later. Very good. So, 
let's have a look at our next new feature. This is to do with the creating of images. Again, nothing new here, but there's a couple of like tweaks they've made. So we've got now a new camera icon, and basically we can change not only the field of view, but the new aspect is the ability to change the format and the output size. Um, so coming in at number eight, the new camera settings feature allows us to pre-select sort of things like film, video, and different sort of presets as well. Um, another nice new feature you will notice is we've now got exports uh, previews in the dock. So previously it was just a kind of uh, a word or you know the name of the video, but now you can actually see a thumbnail of the actual video you're going to export. When you do export, they are remarkably fast. Um, that's one of the beauties of Twin Motion. We've got in this scene here 34.4 million polygons, and those are kind of rendering out in about 3.6 seconds for a a 2K image, that's pretty, pretty fast for that size of model. Um, another really cool feature that you're going to notice is to do with changing things on the camera, as well as sort of changing the time and things, we can actually change things like the focal points. So let's have a look at this new feature. Um, so we're just sort of sliding through. So if you click onto the camera on the depth of field, um, Twinmotion 2020 has totally reworked this according to the presentation. If we click onto more, um, not only is there a couple of new uh, buttons, there's a new tool which allows you to click and create two focal points. Um, so you can actually kind of focus on a specific point. And that was something that was quite tricky with the previous Twin Motion. Um, okay, so we're just kind of moving in along to the next new feature. And while this isn't necessarily a new feature, there's some nice improvements here. So when you kind of come to export things from your model, it sometimes is that you don't want to use like the real thing like cars. So here you can see an example where from the CAD model some cubes were exported and by selecting the entire folder we can drag down some replacement cars and when we click the start replace button you can see those cubes that came from Revit or Vectorworks or Archicad are suddenly replaced with some really high quality new models of car and all of those are available to change and I really love the new car paint option as well. So next new feature, number 13, is simplified video creation. So basically, when you create videos, um, you'll click on the Create Video button, and you can see the keyframe in a different position from the current Twin Motion. But when you basically pan the view and add more keyframes, um, you kind of get like the video editor down on the dock in you know a different place where it was before. Now, the reason for that is it makes sense. You'll see in a moment as we add a few more frames here to the presentation you'll kind of see, yeah, that's really cool. So you can play through just like you could before, that's fine, nothing new there. But when you come to do some new clips, you can actually put multiple clips together. And that does make a big difference in that you are able to kind of like make a more seamless presentation. So yeah, this is a really nice new feature that Twinmotion 2020 is gonna kind of help add. Um, you can see that you can kind of not only put multiple clips together, you can change the time and the weather, all those things as you would normally do. So that's pretty cool. Here you can see just sliding through all three clips in one go. You can collapse and expand those, especially as it gets more complicated. And number 15 is basic video editing. Um, personally, I use things like iMovie to edit my videos, that's more professional. But you know, having some basic video editing in the software is, is a great idea. Now, this is a really interesting new feature at number 16. It's basically called X-ray materials, and it allows you to create materials for th things like services or roads or kind of electricity. And what you can do is select the materials, and there's a special button in settings. So when you click into um, the material, onto settings, you have this X-ray button. At the moment it's off, and you can see when you click it on, basically you can see these invisible materials, even though they're below ground, you can kind of see them highlighting over the top. Now, what a great tool for collaboration, communication, and sort of sharing information on things like this with the project team. So I don't know about you guys, but I think this really opens up Twin Motion to being much more of a kind of useful collaborative tool in the workflow, as opposed to just about visualization. And I think it makes a lot of sense. And I think the demo here is, is excellent. It kind of really shows uh, additional level of sort of building information, modeling level info to the project. Um, so the ability to import that maybe from a, a kind of consultant or 
structural consultant would really, really, you know, make that sort of a very valuable, I think, for the project there. Okay, good. So we're coming on to uh, the next new feature. Let's have a look at um, sort of just finish off on the X-ray. Um, basically, yeah, you can see you can create images with one turned on and the services turned off quite straightforwardly. That's nice and easy. Okay, so you know, going along with the um, X-ray mode, we also have this fantastic new tool, and it looks like it's all to do with creating notes in your model. So again, enhancing the information in your twin motion model. So you have a little notes tool with a thumbnail. And basically what you can do is you can actually export those notes in a format called BCF, which is BIM collaboration format. And programs like Vectorworks and Revit and Archicad can import BCF files back in. Um, so it means that you could use Twinmotion as a sort of viewer to look around the model. You could add some notes and you could kind of export those back into your BIM software quite easily. Now here the uh, presenter example was using Revit. What they were showing here was the fact that you can basically change settings into your Revit or Vectorworks model. And basically when you're ready, you can actually kind of export those back to Twinmotion and you can see the door is now open back in Twinmotion as it was in the CAD software. Um, so yeah, that's a really, really cool new feature. And I know uh, there's rumors around that Vectorworks have been working on this kind of new um, kind of live link with Twinmotion or at least a direct sync plugin. So hopefully that will come soon. Now, number 17, our feature there, is to do with the new characters. And if you saw my previous breakdown um, of the previous sort of video, you'll see that the characters are by A, X, Y, Z. This firm specializes in high quality development. Now, I'm not sure about the dancing, but the animated characters definitely are better quality. <laughs> I can't say much for the dancing. Um, as well as kind of individual characters where you can pose them and sort of change them in animation, you now have uh, a big collection of what they call posed humans as well. Now these are preset poses, but the advantage here is that these are really high quality. So when you come in maybe just setting up some models with stills and you don't need the animated people, then you know these are there to be used in terms of sort of increasing the, the, the detail and the quality of your images. Um, so I think that's a nice addition because, you know, the people were always something that you would perhaps focus on as maybe not being quite as realistic. Um, but, you know, very, very easy to use in Twin Motion itself. OK, so next kind of cool feature we're going to look at is um, just animating those feature. Well, this isn't actually new, but along with the new, should we say, the new animated people, um, that just kind of makes animating those new characters even easier. And that's a really nice new feature. Okay, brilliant. So when we kind of come to the last big feature, it's to do with something called presenter mode. Now this is super cool. I love this. So number 19, presenter mode allows you to take your twin motion model and basically set up almost like a, a PowerPoint kind of thing. So basically what you can do is drag down your various images and animations onto the dock. And you can kind of put them in a sequence order that makes sense for you, not necessarily the order you created them in. And as I say, you can mix the media up, no problem at all. So you just simply drag and drop those down. Now, if you think of this as kind of PowerPoint on steroids, um, when you're ready, you can kind of let edit and so on. But all you need to do to preview that is go into what used to be called BIM object mode, uh, whether they've changed the name to, yeah, it's still called BIM motion. Basically, BIM motion um, is the presenter mode within Twin Motion, but you can export this as a file format that would be basically executable on any computer. And this means that essentially people without Twinmotion installed can use the file that you send them to kind of view this beautiful slideshow. Um, I think it's amazing. So as well as still images, you get the ability to move around the model and so on as well. So guys, that's about it. Apart from the one-click VR, which is also a really nice aspect of Twinmotion, what do you guys think about the new Twin Motion 2020 teaser stuff that's coming soon? Um, check out the full video online, and I'll put the link in the description. But I hope you enjoyed my presentation and the breakdown of that, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.